Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in this wide world you might be watching. My name is Jeff Hudson. My channel is United Computers. Welcome to it. I'd like to introduce you to a series of videos that I'll be uploading concerning Microsoft Outlook, the version 2010, the most popular version of all. The idea of these videos will be to show you tips and tricks to enable the efficient use of Microsoft Outlook uh, in the various modules, the mail module, the calendar, some people call it the diary, fair enough, uh, the uh, contacts module and the tasks module. I know that you'll find these uh, little hints, tips, tricks handy and they will certainly enable the efficient use whether you be a home user uh, or whether you use it at work, uh, you'll find these very, very handy. Right below my finger is a subscribe button, folks. Please click on the subscribe button. We would love to have you as a subscriber and you'll be notified, of course, automatically of videos as we upload them when you are a subscriber. So without further ado, let's look at the first video. Welcome to the video. Outlook 2010. When you first start Outlook, this is the screen that you will see. It's made up of four components. The navigation pane down the left, the email header area here where you see who the message is from, the subject and other detail in the columns here when it was received, the size, etc. On the right hand side by default is the reading pane where you will see the actual message itself and I'll show you how that can be can be changed to be viewed at the bottom of the header or turned off altogether. And over on the far right hand side is a very important area called the to do bar. By default it shows one month. This month is February of course with the current date boxed in red. But the first tip I'm going to show you is how to show another month below this one. You simply need to point your mouse above the current month and right click, then go down to options and change the number one in that box to a two and click OK. That will show you the next month. This is handy because when you get down to the end of the current month it's handy to see what might be happening here in the uh, in the following month because anything that uh, uh, is, is happening, an appointment, a meeting, uh, etc. Uh, you'll find the date will be bolded. Further down I see an area here which will show me the uh, uh, the meetings or the tasks or any flagged items that I have arranged and where I see a double line like that I can resize by hiding down my left mouse button so I'm just going to make it uh, there. Now what we'll do we're looking at the mail and of course as you be aware when you click on these other modules you'll be taken to various screens which enable you to do things in those modules. But we're looking at the mail module. And the first thing I want to do is to customise the program, the interface, the screen I'm looking at, so that it suits me better. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the View tab, and then over here in the Layout group, I'll click the drop arrow underneath Reading Pane, and I'll say show it at the bottom of the header area. Now if you like that fine, if you don't like it you can put it back to where it was at the right or in fact you can even turn the reading pane off altogether. I'll show you how that works uh, in the next upload, the next video, uh, how you can see the email that you have received even though you might have the reading pane turned off. So I'm going to put it back to where it is on the right by default and now I'm going to go to the file uh, menu here, file and I'll click on options because what I want to do is to look at the options available to me in the mail category. So in mail I always need to check 
that uh, HTML is the accepted uh, message compose type because that means that when you send mail or receive mail uh, with HTML turned on you'll see graphics and any formatting in the text in the message. Always check spelling before sending. Darn good idea to put a tick in there. Uh, a lot of us uh, are not perhaps the uh, the greatest spellers in the world so always check spelling before sending. If there's an error message you'll be advised before the message is sent. Create or modify signatures for messages. Now a signature appears at the bottom of all new email messages and uh, when I click on the signatures uh, um, button command I'm just going to remove these existing signatures so that we can see how they work better yes these are existing ones that I had and yes now if you want to create a new signature then the idea is to click on the new command and give it a name I'll call mine Jeff and when I click OK I can then enter my signature down here in the area so I'll say Jeff Hudson and my email address ucr at optusnet.com.au and um, when I click save no problem I'm going to add another new one for reasons that you'll see and I'm going to call it none and when I click OK there there is nothing there but I'm going to make sure that I have that uh, none so that in a new message window as we'll see I can choose uh, there to be no signature by simply clicking a button. Now by default I want new messages to show Jeff if I want I can have my um, uh, signature for Jeff on the replies and forwards again that's a personal thing or if I want I can have no message appearing uh, sorry uh, no signature appearing uh, if I wish to do so and again if I change my mind when I'm looking at the new mail window I can insert my Jeff signature if I need to so now I click OK there and we go back to the options uh, message arrival when messages arrive do you want to play a sound mm, not a bad idea briefly change the mouse pointer uh, it will show the little round circle. Show an envelope icon in the taskbar down here where you'll see a little uh, envelope. And display a desktop alert. This is a grey background area that appears down here and shows me uh, some basic information about the email and I can change the settings uh, there. Uh, at the moment it's uh, transparent, lasts for seven seconds and I can preview that that area by clicking on preview there it is down there that will show for seven seconds and then fade out and you can change the transparency and how long it should appear so I'll click OK there don't want to make any changes so there's some uh, some customization tips and tricks what you can do uh, on your own program is to scroll down and have a look if there are any other changes that you wish to make but the tips and tricks that I've shown you so far will uh, um, suffice in 99% of cases just to customize things okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, you'll be automatically advised of the next uh, upload which will involve the use of the new email window and how I can use signatures. Okay, thanks for watching the first in the series. Remember to subscribe. We will be automatically advised of the next upload. Thank you again.